It's the Daily Doug. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the Daily Doug. Thanks for being with me today. My friends, you have arrived on a very important day. It is my birthday, so that means it's a very important day, at least to me. So thank you for being here on a special edition of the Daily Doug. I am going back to music from Big Big Train for a very special reason. Because I can, and because they're really great, and I like them very much. <laughs> so uh, let's take a listen to Voyager together, friends. I am happy that you are joining me. As many of you know... Uh, Big Big Train is a band that I have been grooving to for a few years now, and just last month I had the opportunity to see them live for the first time, and they exceeded my very high expectations. I actually got the opportunity to interview a few members of the band as well. My interview with Gregory Spotton, Nick DiVirgilio, and Alberto Bravin is still available on my YouTube channel. I intend to keep it on my YouTube channel, and I love chatting with them. We talked about their new album and about their current tour. We talked about my love of their new song, Love is the Light, as well as my love of their song, Voyager, which is what we're going to listen to today. So Voyager was uh, originally included on their album called Grand Tour, and that was released in 2019. Gregory Spotton wrote the song, and at about 14 and a half minutes, it tells the story of Voyager, the famous space probe. And, you know, uh, as they were getting ready to, uh, to do this recording, right, this new recording, Ingenious Devices, tragedy struck. And uh, a vocalist, longtime lead vocalist David Longdon died on November 20th of, no of, um, of 2021. He was only 56 years old. And it left the band wondering what to do next. Well, they decided to continue their work, which I'm happy about. And in April of 2022, they announced Al Alberto Bravin as their new lead singer. And the first project with Alberto was Ingenious Devices, finishing up this uh, concept of bringing expanded orchestral forces to some of their longtime favorite songs. And with Alberto, they ended up adding uh, some new songs as well uh, that, that he is singing on. So what ends up happening is a bridge album of sorts and we get to hear some of david's vocals his classic vocals with expanded instrumentation as well as an introduction to the new singer and the new sound of the band i thought it was a really great album and i've loved having it on the turntable there in genius devices it came out last year and Voyager, in a kind of an expanded version of Voyager, is on that recording. So that's the one that we're going to listen to today. I've listened to it several times. I love its scope. I love its story. And I'm just going to take you through what it's talking about and uh, the harmonies that, that uh, they're using as we go. So it's going to be a fun, fun ride. David Longden <clears throat> is on vocals and flute. Dave Gregory is on guitars. Richard Schoblum is on guitars and vocals. Danny Manners is on piano and keyboards. Rachel Hall is on violin and vocals. Greg Spotton is on the bass, bass pedals, and is our songwriter. And uh, Nick DiVirgilio is on the drums and percussion and vocals. This, like I said, is about 14 and a half minutes, and it goes through several sections. Let's enjoy it, friends. It's about Voyager. It's an optimistic, forward-thinking, forward-looking peace and i'm excited to take you through it this is voyager from big big train off we go okay i don't think we're in kansas anymore y'all starts out bright d major Out into the great sea, to the pillars, and then further on. It's not just about Voyager. Off the charts and out of time, wanderers beneath the stars, voyagers on unknown paths. We are 
beings that love to explore, you know? Optimistic major third of that D major chord. Measuring the shadow, guided by the stars and sounding waves. This is something that they do often include a brass ensemble. Not just MIDI instruments, a real brass ensemble. I love that. Relative minor, B minor. Down to six. Seven. There's the E. and out under the open skies, see how far we've come. Open textures. The beep, right? The probe itself. Open major seventh chords to expand the sound. trumpet. It's a real melding of popular music sounds with orchestral sounds that makes sense within the storytelling because they all have a part to play that's written specifically for them. Part of the reason that I love this band really cool color chord they go down from E minor to E flat major 7 and opens up that it becomes like a like a flat 6 in the new key Pillars of Hercules. Free from the bombs of the sun. Flying further on. Fifty moons and four worlds. Sketches made in fading light. a second out there in the space between the stars they reach back to E minor from that flat key back down where they went where they went where they were to that E flat chord set the course for the brightest world Seek the story of life. Aren't the lyrics just great? Further 
out now. Diving through the rings. We're out by Saturn. Heartbeat reaching out to home. No land, no great new world. The signal's running out of time. Back to E minor, which is four to one in B minor, back to where we were in the previous section. Listen to the little string motion there. So orchestral in its construction. Makes me happy. Bass pedals. And Nick. D. Virgilio on the drums, y'all. Always space. Always space to hold these ideas. Bringing back the, the vocal melody. section. back into a more stable section here. Flat six from where that was. This is the space between the stars. Once 
we get to the E, we do its flat six down to C. Here she comes. This is the homecoming. Here she comes from faraway skies. That, my friends, is my favorite track <clears throat> that came out in 2023. It wasn't the original recording, and it's close to the original recording. It's just a little bit more mature. It's got a little bit of a, it's got a new mix, and uh, I just love it. I hope you can tell that by just the grin that I cannot keep from coming over my face when I hear that music. It's just wonderful. And if there's anything that I wanted to do on my birthday, friends, it's just to have a bit of time where I'm just smiling and losing time a bit in, in the art of some really great uh, musicians and uh, getting recentered sort of physically and emotionally. It really is a cathartic thing. Uh, like I said, Voyager didn't return to Earth, like they talked about here in the song. But I love the imagery that's in the song. It's almost as if we're welcoming home the probe in our own hearts or in our own uh, understanding. Um, we respect it. We uh, notice it. We mark its existence, right? And we understand its mission and its sacrifice um, to humanize it a bit. And we uh, yearn to understand more and to uh where's the uh where's the line to see how far we can go right just like voyager so uh voyager also ties into my birthday in a way uh as it was launched in september of 1977 which was less than five months after i was born 
so its mission, as is mine, uh, is still ongoing, which I'm thankful about. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's kind of overwhelming as I sit here to think that the most distant human-made object in human history, uh, the most distant human-made object from Earth now is Voyager, and it's about the same age as I am. What a really exciting time to be alive. I am a homebody. I like to explore, but I like to kind of do so uh, through just observing. You know, if I tried to hike or, uh, you know, go spelunking or any of that stuff, I'm, I'm a big guy and... You know, it's, <laughs> I think I'd, I'd hurt myself, but I love finding these new, uh, forms of context, you know, uh, that we can have in our lives as we are kind of going on this one of a kind exploration, just like Voyager is right. So Greg's song here, uh, I think really expertly, uh, captures this continuing need for exploration uh, not only by um, humanity, but, you know, by ourselves. And, uh, you know, we uh, only when we seek new forms of context and new horizons do we find out what we are, how far we've come, and how far we can go. And those are the lyrics that we leave Voyager with as it continues on. And uh, it's, it's just a great song, you know. I just... Love the tune. I hope you do as well. And uh, I'm really thankful to you for sharing a bit of my birthday with me. Of course, all of these songs that I pick to do on the Daily Doug are up to me. But I have uh, some advisors around me and a whole community of folks that are asking for things. And I tend to bury my own um, desires for for music on the channel and defer to other people because i i want to hear what other people are so excited about most of the time but sometimes friends i'm gonna uh, bring you what i love and this is one of those times uh this band like i said last month is one that if if even a few of you now know who big big train is that didn't before that makes me happy this is a band whose music continuously moves me and uh, they tell stories. They, they take great pride in their craft. There's real instrumentalists and real musicians. They actually do travel with a brass band of musicians on some of their occasions where they're in concert. They've got violin on stage. When we saw them last month, five of the seven people on stage each played keyboards. You know, they're all doing great uh, music and they are a musician's band. They really are. And uh, I'm just really thankful to have this opportunity to share one of my favorite tracks of 2023 with you. It's been Voyager from Big Big Train. <sighs> Happy birthday to me, everybody. Uh, I'm not going anywhere. I am now 47 and I feel like we're just getting this thing started and I'm really enjoying the community here. So thanks for being with me. If you would like to see some um some music on the channel i have an email address it's it's the daily doug at gmail.com or become a patron uh and over at patreon.com slash doug helvering and uh submit your special song over there and i will make sure that i take a look and continue to uh explore all of this great music and how it intersects with our continuing exploration of this life. And um, I loved it, y'all. Voyager from Big Big Train. Thanks for being with me, everybody. We'll see you next time on another edition of The Daily Doug.